Madam Speaker, I, I can see from the angry faces across the aisle just how much they appreciate hearing the hard truth. I expect no one will jump up. I expect one will jump up shortly to ask me when did I stop beating my husband and how much do I want to cut from childcare and dental care. After eight years, they become tired and predictable. The spending on child care and dental care is a tiny fraction of the government's massive deficits. What they're really spending money on are the giant foreign corporations and provincial electricity utilities. And this is part, all part of their green grift. This is the Telford Butts game plan. In Ontario, they brought the Green Energy Act into force. It drove up the cost of electricity. It forced thousands of manufacturers to leave the province and destroyed 60,000 net jobs, according to the Auditor General. They used tax dollars to subsidize green energy corporations who coincidentally were all run by well-connected Liberals. After that disaster, they packed up their taxpayer-funded moving vans and came to Ottawa to repeat the plan all over again. Now, the federal government has been saddled with massive deficits to pay for massive subsidies to well-connected companies. And eventually, these progressive socialists will run out of other people's money. But by then, it'll be too late. They'll have hopped on a private jet to go surfing into Fino. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The member spoke about a grift. How's this for a grift? Oil and gas companies last year alone raised the price of fuel on their margins alone, 18 cents a litre. That helped them create profits, the five biggest oil and gas companies alone, of over 38 billion. On top of that, the federal government gave them what she would call a handout of 22 billion more. How is that not the biggest grift in the country? And is she going to stand up and say that it's time to get rid of that grift? That's a grift. The, our member for Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. Well, let's talk about grift, or should we call it dark green money? Not half an hour outside of Ottawa, there was what at one time was the most massive solar farm in Ontario. Uh, it, wa it's, it was owned uh, by the, uh, and leased by the government of France. Now, uh, Ontario Hydro, they map out all the electricity generators uh, in Ontario on a map. And uh, they also put on how much electricity they've produced. Well, all the hundreds of millions we've been paying, and every month we continue to do so, pay this green grift to the country of France, who in turn puts it in different uh, foundations, and these foundations make it into uh, family trust funds uh, to eventually reward the people who directed the money in the first place. Uh, after all those millions, not one single watt of electricity has ever been generated in what used to be the largest solar farm in Ontario. Absolutely.